Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs of SCPM. I'm Siano Jalota. I know that every time a new video comes, I say the same thing. So let me try to say something different now. <coughs> Markets are changing. Whatever was happening 20 years ago is not the same thing that is happening today. 20 years ago, or suppose in say 1980s or 90s, if you went to buy a car, you will be only getting two options. One of them in this case was Maruti, other of them was Fiat. And that's where most of the taxis that you will get in Bombay are fear taxis. Okay, but then Ola came, then Uber came, things changed, demand from the customers came. Markets got disrupted. Now, there are a lot of things called as disruptions. There are things called as transformations. Everywhere, competition is changing so much. Okay, due to the competition, new things will keep on coming, keep on coming. You would have thought that one day we are going to be teaching this subject, okay, but through YouTube. Obviously, when YouTube came, it disrupted the entire market. There was a transformation, how the teaching was done, how the teaching is being done. If you try to talk of any industry, say a mobile industry, there is so much amount of competition and competition comes due to various reasons. First of all, like, you know, some company will launch something new. They will innovate something new. Other people will start to be copying. Some other company will launch so something new or will reduce the prices. So competition keeps on coming. So do remember you are in that age whereby you are going to be seeing a lot of changes. We have also seen, you will also be seeing those changes. So best that you can be doing is that please have a habit of learning new things. Okay. If you do not update yourself with the new skills, you will become outdated one day. Okay. Your books do not teach you whatever is changing. Okay. Your life, your updation will start to be teaching you. Have a habit of reading the newspapers on a daily basis. That goes a long way in you to be knowing what all is happening across the world. Okay. If somebody, if you think is successful, that guy is successful because he does many things that you were not doing. So rather than trying to be blaming the luck for it, that I did not pass because luck was not there, a better way is try to learn what other people do they try to change how the things are changing that thing is very 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 important only ch change that is constant in this world okay the only thing that is constant is change itself so change for better okay further in case you wish to be enrolling for my complete course like always link is there in the description join my telegram channel and uh, the group for the updates let's start it off with this question for today it's chapter number five management of course strategically for emerging business models as a role businesses are changing this question is all about that an industry cat categorized by high instability frequent disruptions from rapid technological growth ability of the buyers to switch between the substitutes and profiting from temporary competitive advantage can be classified as so you all have four options disruption okay second one is monopolistic competition monopolistic competition in this case uh, there it's like monopoly but instead of one person there are more than one seller okay then you all have a uh, hyper competition and then the last one you will have monopoly. I think a lot of things you will be knowing. Monopoly, there is one seller, there are many buyers. But I guess if you all read the question, you all will understand that customers are switching between the substitutes. So therefore, there are a lot of sellers because there are a lot of substitutes. Okay. So therefore, uh, monopoly cannot be the answer. Same way, monopolistic competition also cannot be the answer because in monopolistic competition also, there are two or three sellers only. Okay. So second and fourth cannot be the answer. Okay. So what do you mean by disruption? Just a small uh, example. Disruption is when an existing player faces a challenge that offers or a challenger that offers greater value to the customers in a way that existing firms cannot compete directly. Example, I try to be thinking of say the Mumbai example. In Mumbai, around 20 years ago, you would have seen only these taxis. We in Bombay call them as Kali Pili taxis. So, uh, black and yellow taxis. But obviously, when Uber came at that time, everything changed. Now, people do not wish to travel by those taxis only. Believe me, if you are in uh, Sobo, that is South Bombay for us, okay, 
most of the people still try to travel by the Kalipili taxis only because they are readily available for you. Okay. But the times are changing. I don't know for how long those guys can be surviving. That is disruption. When disruption comes at that time, old players start to be going away because the new players okay, can be giving greater value. Like Ola gave you the value. They will come directly to your house. There is a time schedule. They will come at that particular time only and they disrupted the markets. Not sure how long will the Kali Pili taxi still last in Mumbai. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Say that they might be lasting for three, four years more or till the time the car survives to be honest. Okay. But most of the people are now shifting to Ola. So left is only one thing that is nothing but hyper competition. Hyper competition is basically whatever this question was speaking all about. Hyper competition in this case is whenever competition keeps on coming, competition keeps on coming. It does not stop. One company launches something new. The other company launches something better. So customers keep on switching between the substitutes. Okay. And that is whatever was this question all about. Okay. So out of the four options, I guess hyper competition should be the answer. But I will go through the question just once more to tell you the other words also. Okay. An industry categorized by high instability, frequent disruptions from rapid technological growth. Think of say the mobile market. You all will understand that ability of the buyers to switch between substitutes. You know, people keep on uh, trying everything now and then. Suppose say uh, Vivo says our camera is the best. They have few uh, YouTubers or we call them as the influencers now. Okay. So these guys will try to be saying this one is the best one the people will start to be switching some other new company comes will offer them higher amount then these guys will again start to be saying no 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 this phone is now better than that particular phone okay so and profiting from temporary competitive advantage you all will understand there is a temporary advantage say that when uh, samsung launched the fold phones okay they came out with an advantage but then the other companies like motorola like oppo like vivo like oneplus they all have come out with the fold phones also okay so therefore that advantage is lost so this is the stage this is the era of hyper competition okay in hyper competition new competitors keep on coming the buyers also keep on shifting okay so out of the four answers i guess this is whatever hyper competition means also that should be the correct answer that's it from my side. I'll see you all next time with another video. If you scan this, it'll take you to a playlist that has every possible MCQ that is there. Every possible MCQ. Okay. Rest of the things, I'll see you all next time. Till then, take care. Bye.